hi guys it's joan here welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time stopping by here you're very welcome please click on the subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell for more videos if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for believing in me i appreciate you guys so today i'm going to be showing you how to sew this beautiful dress you're seeing here so earlier on i posted the cutting part of this tutorial so if you've not seen it go and check it out so without wasting much of your time let's get right into the tutorial so I have my fabric here already cut out using these patterns here and I added half of an inch on the dart area, the neck part, the shoulder, I added half of an inch and on the seam allowance where I'm going to be joining the side, I added one and a half inch allowance, okay? So I'm going to be taking off this piece here and I'm going to be placing the side to the, the center, alright? So notice that the side I cut four, which I'm going to be using two for the lining piece and on the center I cut two okay so one will be for the fashion fabric and the other one will be for the lining piece so I'm going to go ahead now to place the side to the center ensuring that I place the right side okay the the right side of the side to the right side of the center I hope you understand what I'm explaining here okay so I'm going to go ahead now to use my pin to secure the side to the center because I'm going to be stitching this part by the allowance I kept which is half of an inch okay so whatever allowance you kept when while cutting on your fabric while using your patterns to cut on your fabric please ensure you sew by the allowance so I'm going to be sewing here like this by half of an inch and I'm going to repeat the same thing on this other side okay so I'm going ahead now to secure this with my pin and I'm going to be sewing this as well by half of an inch I'll do the same thing for the fashion fabric and after that I'm going to be ironing everything so where I'm going to be stitching I'm going to notch and iron so for the back piece I am going to also do the same thing it's basically the same thing so where you've you've seen the zipper area I have already cut out because I added the zipper allowance on the on the pattern so if you're adding your zipper allowance on your pattern please ensure you don't add one when cutting on your fabric don't add extra zipper allowance just work with the one you have on your pattern okay so i also cut these two for the two for for one side and two two for the fashion fabric and two for the lining piece okay as you can see here so i have this part here i'm going to also be stitching the side the that area by half of an inch all right so yeah that is it so i'll do the same thing for the lining piece notch and iron everything up and i'm going to be showing you guys the results so for this part here after i was done with the stitching parts although i'm going to be showing you guys later in this video i'm going to be cutting out the cape that's why i said on when i was cutting this the first video i posted about the drafting part i said you guys should not be hasty to throw away your patterns so i'm going to be placing this like this okay so max the paper with your with your tape now you're going to be placing ensuring that the lines on the the chest line and the bust line meet as you can see me do here so i'm going to go ahead now and from this point here i'm going to come down by let's say 2.025 so now this totally depends on what you want if you like you can do two inches or even 2.5 inches okay so i felt like these two inches 2.025 inches was okay for me so i simply marked all the way to this shoulder area here please notice that i did not mark on this part here because i'm not going to be attaching cape on this other part of the shoulder okay so i'm simply going to go ahead now to you connect this point i marked earlier all right so i'm going to be extending like about two inches as you've seen me done okay so now i'm going to also come here on this part here and extend also like about two inches so i'm going to measure that up to ensure that it is two inches okay so i'm going to make sure it is exactly two inches so that is how i want the extension i'm going to be connecting it like this making sure it is a bit slanted to the down part okay so yeah this is 
what I have. I'm going to be you know, label this as the cape and I'm going to be cutting this out. I'm going to use this now to cut on the fabric I'm, I'm going to use. Okay, I'm going to use this to cut on the fabric. So I label this as the shoulder parts for me to know where the shoulder area is. Okay, so so back to the, the front bodies. I've already joined this. Let me show you guys. So for the back, the back bodies, I also joined the neck. I turned the neck line. Okay. I turn the neckline like this let me show you the wrong side hope you guys can see clearly so I had to film this at night because I really wanted to post this video so I also did the same thing for the lining piece so I'm going to match the front to the the back like this like I'm going to match the lining piece to the fashion fabric and I'm going to be marking the zipper allowance so what I did is that I'm, I'm going to turn the zipper inside, okay? I'm going to turn the zipper allowance inside. So just basically mark the lining piece and the fashion fabric. Then do exactly what I've done here. Ensure the neckline is has a line, okay? And then pin, secured with your pin. And yeah, this is, this is how it is. After I was done securing with the, my pin, I'm going to now also iron that up the zipper area up so for the front neckline i did not turn that part up okay so i'm going to be securing this with my pin like this okay you know one side i'm not going to turn one side i'm only going to turn the part that i'm not going to be attaching keep okay so i'm going to only turn this side here so so yeah i'm going to only turn this side like this so turn it over like this okay and stitch okay so you're basically going to turn it over like this right sides facing each other so you're going to turn it like this and you're going to be stitching by half of an inch so turn it wrong sides facing each other and stitch by half of an inch so when i was done stitching when I was done stitching, I also notched this part, okay, this part that I turned. So look at what I did here. And it's looking very neat. I notched this part here so it can relax properly. And for this other part of the neck, I did not turn it because I'm going to be attaching cape to that part. So here is the cape. Here is what I have. This is what it looks like after I was done cutting on my fabric. So I left half inch all around, both the top and the bottom, and both the top and the down part. And on this shoulder part, I left half of an inch. Okay. On this other side here, I left half of an inch as well. So I'm not going to be turning the neckline. Rather, I'm going to be sewing from here like this and all the way to this part. I'm not also going to be sewing the shoulder parts. So watch what I'm doing here, please. So this is what I have after I was done turning. So this is the shoulder part and the neckline. So I did not turn that part. I only turned the down parts, okay? Now I'm going to be placing this like this on the wrong side. I'm going to place the cape on the wrong side, indicating that indicating where the cape is going to be. Like, make sure since I'm using the the same fabric for the lining piece, so ensure that the cape is going towards the show the 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 right side okay the cape is going towards the right side like the cape is coming from the right side to the left side so where i have this extension is on the left side okay so whatever design whatever design you make on your on your dress ensure it's on the left side okay so what i have the extension there is on the left side okay so the cape that is going towards the shoulder is on the right side I hope you are clear so i indicated where i am going to making a stitch okay and and so i'm going to stitch to this point that i marked okay i'm going to stitch like about half of an inch after i was done stitching this is what i have here i went ahead now to iron it okay 
and this is, is looking all neat and flat and also top stitch that part that i stitched and ended so i'm going to now place this place the cape on the wrong side of the fabric okay on the wrong side of the fashion fabric all right so place the cape like i've done here and secure with your pin okay so i'm going ahead now to secure with my pin all the way to the shoulder area and i'm going to be stitching here like this by half of an inch so once i'm done with that i'm going to show you guys what i have next i'm going to be turning this and sew also to the lining piece okay to the main fabric so i've stitched and this is what i had i had to show you guys every step so so yeah i'm going to also notch these parts like this I'm going to notch the neckline and show you notch close to the stitch so it relaxes well but don't cut through your stitch right so just ensure you notch very well okay that way it will relax well after you double stop top stitch okay so i'm going to now also turn this up like this and i'm going to be top stitching on making sure that the stitch does not show on the cape but rather it's going to be showing on the main fabric i hope you understand so it's going to be showing on the main fabric not the cape okay so i just top stitch and i went ahead to iron this up and guys while i was filming this my light went off so please please bear with me for now so this is what i have i hope you can see clearly i have top stitched this and i ironed this properly so i'm going to cut out any excess i have on the shoulder area because you don't want anything puffing out okay so yeah so that is it now i'm going to bring the back part to to place to the front like this i'm going to be ensuring i place the right side to the right side of the front part i'm going to be you know stitching the shoulder like as you've seen here i have already ironed the zipper area and it's looking very flat so i am going to stitch the shoulder to the shoulder so i'm going to also place this like this and and use one part of either the lining going to use either the lining piece like this and and i'm going to you know turn this over to the other side so i'm going to use the lining piece and turn this over to the front right side of the front okay to the wrong side of the front rather i'm going to be stitching that by by half of an inch i'll do the same thing for this part turn this over like this facing the front and i'm going to be stitching this by half of an inch okay so i had to take this step by step for beginners to understand properly what i'm doing here so i'm going to stitch here by half of an inch i'll show you guys what i have i'll also stitch the side and show you guys so this is it i've stitched the the shoulder line okay so it's looking all neat so now i'm going to be stitching the side now so i'm going to open i just open this up i'm going to flip this over like this ensuring i stitch the front side to the the front part to the back parts by the allowance i kept okay so stitch the lining to the lining and the fashion fabric to the fashion fabric because the aim here is to turn turn this upper part in okay turn it inside like the seams is going to be inside i hope you understand where i'm coming from okay so like i've stitched here this is what this is what i have after i was done stitching okay let me show you guys the wrong side so this is how the wrong side looks i turned everything inside so i'm going to trim the armhole here like this i'm going to trim out this armhole for it to look better for you guys to see so yeah and i'm going to be joining this skirt part okay so for this skirt part i am going to join the zipper allowance here so when you're joining please ensure you also indicate where you're going to be fixing your zip and where you're going to be having the splits on this down part okay so i'm going to join that and let me just take out the pin and open this up so i'm going to also after joining the dart allowance i am going to join the side of this the front side to the back side to stitch on the side allowance okay i'm going to join the front part to the back part and stitch on the side allowance so i did that and i went ahead to also 
join this to the upper bodies okay after i did the joining on the skirt parts had to join this to the upper bodies off camera for the sake of time i was running short of time this video was becoming too long so yeah this is this is basically it so join your your upper bodies to your down bodies by the allowance you can which is half of an inch basically and i did not stitch this this zipper area as you can see i did not stitch the zip okay so i'm going to be stitching the zip later so yeah so for the sleeve here i have already marked my basic sleeve so if you don't know how to cut a basic sleeve you can comment on drop a comment for me let me make a video on that okay so let me clear you guys on how to cut a sleeve a basic sleeve a perfect basic sleeve so yeah so i'm just going ahead to cut out the excesses i have here i'm going to trim out after cutting it out i'm going to be trimming out so if you don't understand what i did here please drop a message let me make a detailed tutorial on how to cut a basic sleeve for you guys so i'm going to be using this chantilly lace here to cut out on use the pattern to cut out on this chantilly lace okay so so that's for the basic sleeve all right so they yeah, are going to cut this out and i'm going to cut two of these all right that's for both sleeves all right so i have cut this out and for the top part i added half of an inch so for this side here i added one inch okay on both sides so yeah so i cut two of this just for the both sleeve i'm going to also i'm going to also stitch this okay stitch this making sure the right sides are facing each other i'm going to be stitching this by by the allowance which is one inch i'll do the same thing for this other part for the second sleeve now back to this pattern here i am going to be making an alteration because i'm going to be cutting the second sleeve okay you know you have two sleeves there on each each hand okay there it's two sleeves i hope you understand so i'm going to make an alteration where i'm going to be you know splitting this up like i came down by 3.5 inches i came down by four inches so while i i was cutting while i wanted to mark this i noticed that the three the four inches was was basically too much so I'm going to come up again by like 3.5 inches so yeah I'm going to connect call and um, draw this all the way make a line all the way to the sleeve the hem of the sleeve okay so I'm going to make a line all the way to the length of the sleeve like I just did here okay so I have made this length just like having a two-piece sleeve I'm going to be cutting this out so i'm going to open this up like cut it out and i'm going to also place this on the fabric and i'm going to be cutting two on for each piece here i'm going to be cutting two so i just cut this off camera and yeah so i added allowance here on this down part i extended it by by like 2.5 inches okay so because i want to have a bit of a funnel around that the 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 length of the sleeve so for this side i added one inch on this top part i added half of an inch for this side here i added half inch same with the other parts i did the same thing for the other part i'm going to be joining this part that i cut out okay i'm going to be joining that part and also make a split around that area so for this part i also extended by like 2.5 inch okay so i cut two each for this pattern using this pattern i cut two on the main fabric each okay so you have four all right so i've joined this and i hope you guys can see clearly i joined this this is where i have the joining area okay so yeah, i'm going to be opening this up later and i'm going to be hemming that part so i opened from the shoulder to this part this area like 12 inches okay 
so from the shoulder to that part there i'm going to start there to make this place i hope you understand so i measured about 12 inches that's basically what i used now i'm going to bring the chantilly lace here and put it right inside of this crepe sleeve i have here okay because the chantilly lace is going to be inside it hope you understand so the crepe fabric is on top of this chantilly lace so i place the chantilly lace the right side of the chantilly lace facing the wrong side of the crepe fabric so i'm going to secure this with my pin and while you're stitching this please ensure you the 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 front part of the sleeve is facing the front the front part of the chantilly lace is facing the front side of the crepe fabric so there's a way you cut your sleeve like i did you know you have to indicate the front side and the back side around the ammo area please ensure you place them together if not it will not align okay i hope you understand what i'm saying here so i went ahead now to secure with my pin i'm going to be stitching this down stitch this you know stitch the chantilly lace to the crepe fabric before i now attach it to the main fabric okay i'll do the same thing for this part and i'll show you guys what i have so i'm going to be fixing this on the ammo area after stitching this chantilly lace so i have stitched this on the dress and this is how the arm the sleeve is sitting pretty on the armhole area okay and this is looking very beautiful already i've not stitched the zipper yet so yeah so so for this sleeve here i have opened this up all right so so if you like you can extend the the length of your sleeve that's on the crepe fabric you can extend that it depends on what measurements you want to use if you like you can use 28 inches or 29 inches so for this for the sleeve where i have the split i'm going to be using the hem, my hemming gum to to gum it and make sure it's it comes out very neat and i'm see this other side i did the same thing for this side i'm going to also hem that part and also hem the down parts all right so guys had to just put post, post this video for you guys so it was taking too long thank you so much for sticking around and for being here thank you so much for always believing in me thank you so much see you guys in my next one